everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you and today we're day three of the 30 inks in 30 days and I'm loving this process so so much. I'm discovering so many new inks. Um, my wish list is getting bigger and bigger by the minute, especially with all the shimmering inks. Oh my god, I'm such a sucker for shimmer. I love it so so much and uh, yeah, so discovering a whole bunch of new ones out there and um, it's gonna be hard to uh, you know resist so today I'm using the Ver Atlantic Atlantide from Jacques, Le Jacques Herbin and it's uh, part of the series uh, L'Ancre 350 and this is um, this is ink that's made in France you can see the shimmer at the bottom so you really have to shake it up when you want it in the in the ink and oh, I, I had so much trouble finding this ink um, I saw it first on Goulet pen but of course they didn't have it and I couldn't find it anywhere uh, basically and I finally found this bottle uh, in a little uh, well I don't know how little it is because I've never visited it but it, it's in Vancouver uh, Canada so I was really excited to be able to order it from there and um, so now I've got my own big bottle and I'm using it in this Pilot Metropolitan retro pop in the green I love it love this pen um, I have almost all of the retro pop I'm only missing the black one so eventually uh, I got it used on eBay I've been buying a lot of uh, used pen because well it's a lot cheaper and it's also uh, sometimes easier to find some of the ones that I'm missing so we'll do this is a medium nib and we will do the first the the chromatography first and this way we can ah, of course it would do that whoa there goes my my cap clearly didn't put it solid enough because there's shimmer obviously in the pen sometimes it does have a little bit of a harder time to start and I don't have that in the the Twisbees I'm finding that I'm getting this more like in 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 this type of nib <laughs> oh my god it doesn't like this paper at all because it doesn't do that on any other paper okay so put that into the water and of course I didn't put it low enough I wanted to make sure that it was low enough that only the tip is in the water but I'm so bad at, at seeing like from a distance the, the different thing. Okay, so now we've got it working. So we're gonna do the splash and you can see all the shimmer is already is already deposited itself at the bottom. So it goes really quickly. So hopefully we'll get some in the syringe. That's a lot of ink. I don't think I need that much. And it's the fact that I clearly didn't need that much. It's okay. We've got some, a big splutch and some smaller one. Sometimes it's 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 hard, especially with this um, this needle. I need to find a smaller one. I almost went to the drugstore to find one, but I'm kind of afraid that they're gonna think I'm a drug addict, and they won't believe me that it's for my pens. So, being a very shy person, I haven't gone yet. This one was easy. I got it on off of uh, 
Amazon, but you can see I like the fact that I did the big splotch because it, it's actually quite nice with um, it's actually quite nice to see the shimmer on it and uh, just gonna bring this out uh, do my little my little swatch with my little paintbrush when my cat wants out okay so that's gonna go in water and I didn't bring any water so typical of me I'm gonna use the rest of my drinking water for this because that's the type of stuff I do I've been writing letters with it and it turns out pretty good so I'm very happy because it does it does you can read it fairly easily and there we go so you can see that on Tomo River paper, it writes perfectly fine in the pen. So you can see some of the shimmer. I really love that ink. So let's that let that dry, and then we're gonna do this here, which is so it's Jacques Herbet Ver. Atlantide L'Encre 350. It's, it's, I, I love hearing everybody's, um, the way everybody says it in English, especially Jacques Herbin, how they pronounce it. It's so cute. April 3rd. 2021. 20, I guess it's like when I'm speaking English and people think it's very cute the way <laughs> I speak English uh, with the accent and all. My pilot metropolitan M R pop uh, retro pop green with a medium nib and I'm trying to find poems that kind of fit with what I'm doing because yesterday I did the about the rose the first day I did yeah I did humble and, and grumble so I don't know but there's there's gonna be a lot of purple so it was a good thing but today I decided to do one that had that has something to do with fields and meadows and clover so I figured that it'd be appropriate it's uh, it's a poem it's all I have to bring today by Emily Dick Dickinson so here we go and thank you so much for everybody that says that they like my writing <laughs> I I so don't like my writing but uh, I really appreciate everybody's nice comment uh, I guess we're all mo always more criti critical of ourselves today by Amy D. You're probably going to hear my husband scream because he just came back with the groceries. Yesterday I did a bunch of different errands and he does the groceries which I really appreciate because I hate doing groceries it's all I have to bring today this and This is funny because it's supposed to be a, a medium nib, but I'm not finding that it, like it's still very, very fine, like very fine to me. I know that um, that Japanese nibs are finer than some others, and I'm really feeling it.
and all the fields and all the meadows wide be sure count should I forget some one the some could tell this and my heart and all the bees which in that the clover dwell so that's my poem for today um so that's done the chromatography doesn't seem to be finished it's still rising which is very impressive it's got like this dark color then some green and then some blue and like I said it's still rising well, I'm not sure like usually I, I see the water continue and now I'm not seeing it move but I kind of don't I don't want to and like move it and have it empty on me because that's the type of stuff I would do. It doesn't seem to be moving anymore. But I don't see the water continue to rise either. So I guess, I guess it's finished. It spread quite a lot compared to, well, no, this one spread a lot. This one didn't spread as much. Here's the chromatography, so you can really see the the dark type of gray, purple type of color, and then you've got the green and the darker green and the blue at the top. It's really neat. So that's that, and this is still drawing because, of course, I did a super huge splotch. But I'm really proud because I was able to do the smaller splotch like Manda does. <laughs> so if I can, you know, limit the intake of ink, I should be I should be good. But you can see the the different the shimmer in it. I hope it's really beautiful. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna be letting this dry because, like I said, it it there's a lot of ink on there. And um, and anyway, at the end. Once all my book, well, the 30 days is finished, I'll do a flip through so you guys can actually see um, all the different days and how they actually finished once I put them together. So I hope you've liked this. Like I said, I love seeing the inks, the way they react. It also inspires me a lot for um, mixed media art and using, I've been using my fountain pens a lot more in uh, art making, which is really fun. Uh, if you watch my take five art, I used uh, my Conklin with the stub nib to do a text, a quote. And um, I plan on doing that more because I'm really loving it. The only thing is those are water soluble inks. So if you obviously, um, if you do the, uh, anything that, that has to do with water or some si a sort of wet medium, it's going to react, which is why I've got this, uh, this, uh, pen filled up with the, uh, carbon black from, uh, uh, platinum because that won't move, but the rest is not obvious. So have to be careful at the steps that you add it. Um, and obviously I don't want to write with my pe my good pens on top of medium that's gonna actually clog the nib but um, 
but I'm having fun in integrating because mixed media. That's the the good thing about it is you can in, you know you can integrate pretty much everything with it. So all the addictions can kind of combine together, which is kind of awesome. So love you guys. Stay safe. See you tomorrow. Bye.